Good morning, everyone. Welcome to the Good News live on, at 9 on Facebook and available later on our YouTube channel. It's 9 a.m. Friday, March 24th, 2023. Please be sure to comment in the chat. This is a presentation of the Allen Park Presbyterian Church. I'm Suzanne Maxey. I'm an elder at APPC. And my cohort is... Cohort. Carrie Van, good morning, everyone. It's nice to, well, you can see us. We can't see you, but we know you're there. <laughs> I'm Carrie Van. I work at the church. I'm the moderator of the deacons and uh, the ChristNet coordinator, which is relevant this week, correct? Yes. Good morning to everyone who's watching. They're flying in so fast, I can't even name them all. Yes, all right. <laughs> yes, that's what we like to see. Good morning and thank right. you. So what, this has been a really busy week and a great week at the oh, church. Oh, yeah. Yes. I've just been going from one very thing. Very hectic week, huh? <laughs> very hectic. Going from one thing to another, and that's how I like it. No, and that's how I like it. It's been absolutely wonderful. We um, are on our second to last day. Uh, today's the sixth day. Tomorrow is the last day, and we do have a lunch today, too. So I'm going to be doing both of those. It's going to be an exciting day. Looking wow. forward to seeing everyone who's going to be with us tonight and uh, appreciate everything that everyone has done so far. You guys are great. Literally have purchased every single thing we needed for this mission. Really, really great. And that is while, while we are fundraising for other things, correct, Sue? Yeah, <laughs> yes. <laughs> Quite we're a few help our, Yes, we're trying to help our mission travelers um, intergenerational family trip going to Pikeville, Kentucky this summer in June. Mm -hmm. We have three fundraisers going on. Another Secret Recipes fundraiser on Tuesday from 8 a.m. to 9 p.m. There's flyers everywhere. You can show a picture on your phone or take a flyer from the church with you. Be sure to support them. They supported us this week at Christnet. They're a great place. Uh, what are the other ones? We have a Dearborn Ham fundraiser. If you want to make, make your Easter a little easier, you can purchase Dearborn Sausage. Is that the name of the company, Dearborn Sausage? Um, I think it's Dearborn, Dearborn Ham, isn't it? Dearborn, Dearborn Ham. No, Dearborn, I don't know. I'm sorry. <laughs> they have the Dearborn. I don't do sausage, so I, you know, if it's got sausage in the name, I ignore it anyway. <laughs> so. Anyways, there is an order form at the church, and... The items are on sale after worship as well. So stop by the table, place an order. You'll have everything by Good Friday. So how perfect is that? Right. And then I and believe then, next week they're going to be having a popcorn fundraiser. And it's, it's strictly online or whatever. And they, they uh, ship it right to your house. So, so yeah, we fundraisers here for the people that are going down to Pikeville. And they're going to Pikeville to help our brothers and sisters in Kentucky to try to recover from the devastating floods they had last year. So very worthwhile. Right. And then yeah. going on today from noon to six is our blood drive. Mm -hmm. um, if you, I'm sure their walk-ins are acceptable. Um, if you get a chance to go ahead and um, go to the fellowship building from noon to six today, you'll help us save lives and heal lives. Uh, Donald, yeah, Donald Jones said he got his Easter lily dedication in on time, thanks to my reminder yesterday. Please, we only, have a, we only have a couple more days to get those in so I can get the book ready to send to the printer. We appreciate all the dedications and any donations that we've received. Helps our flower ministry. Um, I'm not sure how we pay for the hams. Um, you'll have to stop by the their table in the narthex or in the office because i'm sure they understand yeah, the i'm sure checks or cash would be acceptable but that's just my guess yeah that's what we're guessing just my guess yeah um, all right i think the transportation team is still looking for drivers too for the sunday uh, minibus ministry aren't they yes they, they are they filled all the spots so yes like, they are uh, be involved that you can they have a rotation thing so you only drive every you know however many people they have doing it so every five weeks or more if, if more people uh, sign up to be drivers and you do not have to have a, a special license you don't have to have a cdl 
I mean, you have to have a valid driver's license that you do have to have, but you don't have to have the special one. That's correct. That's correct. So, so we, we have two special guests today. I only see you. one in the waiting room. I so know. I'm hoping that that gets uh, improved in the next few minutes here. Yeah. But uh, should we, um, if you would accept a pint or so of blood, donate a pint. That's terminology from blood drive. So I'm sure people know what that means. That's from Ken Woods. It's always been a big proponent of blood drives. All right. So should we let Mark in? I think so. All right. You say his last name because I always say it the way I want. And I'm not the Bureau. <laughs> yes. Mark the Bureau. Mark the Bureau. Bureau Charity. Yeah. All right. Let us let him in. All right. We need background music when people are connected. <laughs> Hi, Mark. Are you there, Mark? I are here. You are there. All right. Yeah. Where are you? Tell us I, where you really are. I are in Sarasota, Florida. Uh -huh. Nice. And what is nice. the temperature? Uh, the temperature today is going to be 85. <laughs> oh, we're so jealous. It's gloomy and windy and possible rain and snow here. So you're not yeah, missing a thing. See what it says. Well, you know what, though? I think you'll get through it. I don't know why. I just think you'll get through it. So. Yes, you know it's we will. 34 and cloudy here. <laughs> oh, 34. You know, I had to come home yesterday or Wednesday for a quick meeting uh, well, we had a uh, we had a trade show, and my kid said, "Dad, we got to get you home for this just for this event." And, uh, it was kind of gloomy Wednesday too, and rainy and oh, wet. Yeah. And I'm like, I want to come back, but anyhow, uh, my aunt is turning 100. My mom's sister, wow. 100 years of age on April 1st, so we're coming home uh, next Wednesday to celebrate with that that incredible milestone for her so oh, we're wow. excited Fantastic. blessed with good health and uh we're just fired up about it so that's, april that's 1st will be on. oh Anything. that's fantastic um we do not have our other guest lisa so i don't know i'm hoping that she pops in i don't know what's going on if you want to text her mark while we start I will, talking i will text her right now she was really excited. Let's see. As are we. As are we. So we Let's will see. see if we can what's going on. I can't check my email right now. I Lisa. guess I could. Uh, yeah, I don't have anything from her from in my email. All right, thanks. Because I, I if she was having problems, I could try to jump off and help her, but okay. I just text her. So how how are things going, ladies? Things going well? Yeah. Yes. Things, yep. Things are going well. The church is busy. <laughs> um, we have a mission trip to Kentucky. We've been working on that. We're hosting ChristNet this week. Oh. Things are kind of feeling kind a little of bit. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Things are things are a lot busier. Of course, we're getting ready for Holy Week and Easter, and that's a big time at the church. Yeah. Right. And I right. I would assume you've been busy too. And you've been busy with this new charity that we're going to talk about at a special event that's coming up. Right. We're real excited about it. Uh this is the first time that I have I have done a luncheon with her. We have done um we have done a, a comedy show for her about four months ago. I'd say about four months ago. And it was really, it turned out really nice. So we, she has a lot of support. Uh, such a tough, oh, let's see what she says here. Oh, she says she's waiting to be let in. Mm. So how should I? Uh, let's Tell her see. to go back out and come back in because there's nobody in our waiting okay. room. Should I send her the, or should we send her the link again? I have been hurt. Why don't we do that, uh, Susan? And I'll just tell her that right now. We'll, uh, to, so I'm going to tell her to go ahead and log out. Get out and get back in. <laughs> okay. Try it again. Okay. Uh, 
log. Technical difficulties we seem to have on Fridays. I don't know. All right. Okay. Susan is sending link again. Suzanne. Okay. Sending link again. Now. So uh, back to the comedy show, she had a really, really great support on the first fundraiser we did for her. And uh, she asked me, she said, hey, do you think maybe we could try a luncheon? Because down river, really, you don't see those very often for lunch fundraisers. And so uh, we came up with the, it's going to be um, a team-based um conference type thing and so we're real excited about it we have uh, pete kreplevich who will be coming he used to play for uh, uh lou holtz at notre dame and then he played for the detroit lions and then he played for tampa bay and his talk is going to be about building the team around your brand and my my focus is going to be on what branding does for, for uh, individual companies and groups. So I'm really excited about it. And uh, I think we saw just over a hundred, uh, just over a hundred tickets already. So it's going to be fun. I'm, I'm excited about it. It's our first one, ladies. So we'll see how it goes. Real excited about it. And that's the- yeah, what, a, uh, what a great twist you, what a great twist you put on that because it's, um an interesting way to raise funds and looks fantastic. Absolutely. I, I got to tell you, we, I am very excited about it, Carrie. And, um, the, and the bottom line of what her mission is, it's incredible that uh, with these uh, children that are struggling with cancer to try to put, um, I don't want to call it like a make a wish because it isn't really uh it isn't make a wish but it's that type of uh base so she just bought some land up in uh gladwin michigan and so uh i just think it's fantastic that uh, lisa is really doing that so boy what what a great what a great thing for kids so let's All see right, what well, she said okay why yeah why we're waiting for her to get in let me read something that she sent to sue and i so our listeners okay. understand what we're talking about. She said, thank you for the opportunity to tell your listeners about my charity. My name is Lisa Keck Kuaja. Yep. Okay. yep. I started my charity about eight years ago because a family member was diagnosed with childhood cancer. And I wanted to create a wonderful park slash camp for kids fighting cancer. I purchased a 55 acre retired youth camp in September last year. It's incredible. When it is restored, we will have lodging and activities, welcoming families to camp here for up to a week in our fully inclusive camp at no cost to the families. We have spent the past eight years granting wishes for kids in Michigan and doing toy collections several times a year for both Mott's and Children's Hospitals. We have helped so many kids and now we are excited to help even more at our camp. So that that's that's what we are fundraising with this event and what we're spreading awareness of. And the name of the cha the charity is the Golden Key, right? That yeah, is Golden, correct. The Golden yes. the, Yep, that is correct, the Golden Key. And that's that's uh her mission is it's incredible and I just, I, I just, I'm just so passionate about trying to help her. I mean, to 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 give back the way that she is to these children and uh, buying that land. Come on, think about it, ladies. To buy that land to build this camp, that these parents could bring their children up there. That's that's God sent. That's that's man. That that's passion. That is passion to the to the ultimate. You know, so. I'm I'm real excited for her. I'm real excited. So yeah, so this is a this is obviously a mission that's close to her heart. And I have I follow her on Facebook myself. So I know and I know one of her mottos is, whoop, she's here. Yay. <clears throat> right. One of her missions is it takes a village. 
And we believe that too at the church. Oh, so absolutely. <clears throat> Come on, Lisa. Come on in. Come on, Come on down. Lisa. <laughs> Hey there, can am I on? You are we on. Can hear you. Lisa, yeah, we can hear you. Lisa, you are on. Just put on your video, girlfriend. I'm trying. I'm <laughs> all time to hey. All right. Hey. 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 I'm, all right. I'm, all, I'm all time sprinted. Decide to update. Right. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Probably all awesome. awesome. we have this, we have this kind of crazy luck every single Friday. Oh yeah. So we, we have been talking about your charity and your and your camp. So now we can hear you tell us about it because we've all been singing your high praises. Yes. Your background right there, um, Carrie, your background looks like how the property is. It's picturesque, it's beautiful, it's 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 honestly magical when you're here. This property started, um, this camp started in 1940, 1945, something, um, as a church camp. So you can just feel the prayer. You can feel the presence. You can just feel something. And that something is, is prayer and God. Um, you ever see the movie, the prayer room where or maybe it was that movie. Well, anyway, this, this lady walks in and she said, um, maybe it wasn't that movie, but she, this lady walks in and she said, I want to buy this house because there's been prayer in here. Um, so that's how this, that's how this camp feels where you can just walk through and there's a, cleansing that happens you know it just you just feel the stress fall off and it's really a beautiful property the people that you're that that are watching right now we we own our church owns a camp a church camp in johannesburg on 161 acres so we know exactly what you're describing yes. yep. we oh. have so many generations go through our camp and we're raised there we totally understand what you're trying to do with this camp it's just yeah, a, it's, yes. it's like being in a whole new world when you go to a place like this. And I'm so glad that um that God brought me here to this place instead of starting. I had looked all over for property and land and I didn't know what God was going to have me do. But I'm so grateful that this place that we now own is is a is a place of prayer and a, a, a retired church camp, you know, because it's got the history and the community loves this place and they want to help um restore it and rebuild it. To what it was because it sat vacant for eight years oh, it's wow. just empty so there's so much restoration that has to be done all the there's 16 buildings here and they are all in good shape no, nothing has to be torn down but they all need as you can imagine you know <laughs> yeah we, we yes. can't imagine yes <laughs> yeah weather for eight years so um there's a couple of buildings that they did restore um but most of them all need a lot of extensive work, especially for children with cancer. And they can't have buildings with any type of mold growing, oh, you know, no. so exactly. they have a lot of restoration. So I was very overwhelmed um, for a couple months. Um, you know, where do you start? Where do you begin? And just, I spent that time in depression, but prayer, you know, um, what, what do you, what do I do now, Lord? What do you do when your dream comes true? Now what, you know, I don't yeah. have anything to, I don't have the funding to just write checks all day for, 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 um, for things. So what do you do when your dream comes true when you can't, and you still can't fund it. So um, that's where I'm at right now. Um, but I know God, you asked me what my favorite verses were. I thought long and hard about that because how do you pinpoint one verse? You know, there's, everybody's got special verses, you know, Jeremiah 29, 29, 11. And, um, but but the one, the mustard seed, I, after sleeping on it last night, the mustard mustard seed faith one um, verse really probably is more significant to me than the one that I sent you. Because even when you don't have strength to have faith, you have to have faith and you just do. As a Christian, you know, you got me emotional now, you know that you you are supposed to do something you're supposed to do this not just something. when it comes down to like you know that this is what you're supposed to do i'm supposed to help kids there's nothing more satisfying in the world than to help children honestly there there isn't well but to help kids that what's huh sorry how, i was gonna say how 
Uh, have you had camps? I mean, you know, you said you just got this property, but have you actually run camps like going somewhere else or whatever already, or you're still just nope. starting up? No, nope. no, nope. this is just starting up. So my charity started um, eight or nine years ago. And I knew that this is something that, that I was supposed to do was to have a camp um, for, and it won't be a camp where we invite 200 kids at once. You know, it's going to be a, um, there's, there's uh, three houses on the property. There's two bunk houses. There's several cabins that are all in need of repair again. But it'll be a place where we'll say, you know, the Jones family, you guys have this whole life of hospitals and turmoil. And when you can book a week at our place. Oh, you froze, Lisa. Oh, did I look at uh, now you probably are okay okay you're back right, everybody's back all right so we'll to invite the Jones family and say okay you have dealt with this life um you know this this horrible life diagnosis so come and stay at our camp for a week we've got a lot of people in the community that there's not a there's not um it's kind of out in the country, so you have to drive to do different things. But there's petting farms. There's we've we've connected with. There's Frankenmuth's only an hour away. There's a lot of different things in the community that want to help. In you know when we have families here, they they there's a horseback um so a horse um um horse rehabilitation um organization that um will partner with us and when we have families they're going to go over there for their horseback riding lessons and a fun day there's so much to do around here um so when a family comes here they'll explore the land for the we're going to put a one mile sensory trail in with handicap accessible playgrounds um there's there's a lot to there's a lot to be done but there's a lot to do around the community here so and there's a lot of support but i need to figure out how to put it all together Right. So, so fun, yeah, fundraising, fundraising, fundraising. Um, yes. I, I want you to check your email when we get off of this um, show because I am going to offer you something free that I can do to help you. And I do want to say that my boss, Rita, who works at the church, is an expert in licensing camps in the state of Michigan. Oh. So if you if you want any help with that, I would highly recommend it. I'll send you her information as well. Yeah, I appreciate any help. Yeah, and um, I'm gonna offer to help you with something too that I have seen that I can help with. So you have this um, hooking up with Mark is is a great start. Mark <laughs> is a wonderful giving yes. person who has helped so many in the community. So I'm liking this partnership for fundraising to begin with. How far off? I mean, do you think you just starting or do you think you're like making progress? Like, or is it going to be a big lift? Um, you mean as far as restoration and before we can invite yes. families? Yeah, we need about $200,000. So it's it's a not impossible. I mean, it's how much money gets wasted every day in America, you know? So $200,000 is a big amount but it is not an impossible amount. So I, I'm not afraid of that amount anymore. I was kind of starstruck by the amount and by the overwhelmingness of things. And there's really a lot of cleanup that needs to be done here. This place is so overgrown with um, earth. I mean, the, the trees and everything just took over. So I'm sorry, what? I said brush and whatever. That yes, but it's really, um, there's 55 <laughs> acres here. and 20 25 acres um that is all cleared out and that's where the buildings and the structures and the cabins are and that but there's so much overgrown you can't even really walk in the woods and i want to use that property too but there's so many ravines and there's a river that comes through and then there's a lake over there it's it's just really really nice property it's very oh, picturesque it's, it is it's very versatile too there's so much different um opportunities for um anything anything we can think of. Oh, so really, yeah, Marcus, wonderful. Marcus helped me come up with a plan to, to do, um, I've always loved motivational, um, 
motivational seminars and motivational, you know, we all need a push. We all need to, I, if I'm not listening to motivational stuff or Christian seminars or Christian sermons, and we, I think we all get that. And so if, oh, I thought I, I thought I froze again, but you're just changing the screen. Okay, good. So if I don't hear an, a positive flow on a regular, my brain starts talking negative to me. And I think we all have that problem. You know, you just, you, you bash yourself. So, and you bash your goals and self-doubt comes in. So um, Mark has come up with, um, Mark and I've come up with a, a good way to help businesses and help people and to stay motivated. And so we've, we're putting together our first um, fundraiser lunch and it'll be a, a business base, but anybody can come for motivation and self-development. So we're, um, we're pretty excited about that. So the first one is April 5th coming up, you know, very soon, but we have seats still available and um, we hope that this will be something that will continue pretty often. Well, if you follow football, it'd be worth it coming to hear yeah. Pete. Eh? <laughs> Yeah, yeah, right. Yeah. What a great way to, to to raise funds to you know because it's it's not your typical fundraiser. It, it looks like a great, great. I, I think Mark might be frozen. Mark, are you still there? I am here. Yes. Okay. Can you hear me? You can yes, hear me. Can. Yeah. Okay. No, you know, I'm really excited to be. I got to tell you, I'm really excited that you guys have given the opportunity to to share the mission with Lisa I mean I'm I'm so fired up about it and really uh I I don't I just I just feel real good about it Carrie and Susan I I I gotta tell you I feel real good about it and when Suzanne asked me if uh, we would consider jumping on board with you guys I couldn't say yes quick enough Carrie you guys <laughs> awesome susan you you are so awesome and i gotta tell you now that uh, i have the relationship with lisa i have a cottage probably two three miles uh, maybe four or five miles from her camp and i can't wait till i go up north because i go up north weekly and we're already promoting the comedy show up at uh up at uh, in gladwin which is in the city she's in so I got to tell you, ladies, I'm so fired up that I that I met Lisa. And as you know, the Bureau Charities, we thrive on this stuff. And so any way that I can help and any supporters of mine, I'm, I'm just so excited that I could be a part of uh, Lisa's mission, to be honest. I'm real excited. Yes. And we're very mission oriented, too. I mean, not only do we understand how, how much money and time and effort it takes to run a church camp. We also know the beauty of it. Well, and so, we, too, so, yes. And uh, we, we will do what we can to promote this as well. Thank Absolutely. You. Thank you. That is so awesome of you guys. That, that really is. Suzanne, thank you very much for giving us the opportunity. Carrie, it's so nice that you share this time with us that we could talk about Lisa's mission and, be honest with you, I'm fired up about it. <laughs> I love it. I love it. If anybody watching has a question for Lisa or Mark, send me an email. I'll make sure that I'm looking at my phones. Um, I will send, I will, I will find a way for you to connect with them. If there's an idea or something that you have in mind, please let me know and I will make sure that you can be in contact with either one of or both of them. So throw up some hearts in the chat. Anybody have any questions? Hurry because we're running out of time. And we hope you've enjoyed our guest today. It's what a wonderful, it's going to make my whole day feel a lot better thinking about this. Yeah. And if you'd like to attend that uh, business luncheon, um, you can get tickets at MotownMark, right? Dot yep. com. MotownMark.com. Yeah. So Thank easy. you, ladies, very much. Lisa, nice seeing you, honey. We'll Good be in touch. You. Okay. Bye bye, gals. Right. Thank you, Carrie and right. Susan. Bye. Thank you. We'll be watch for my email, okay, Lisa? You're gonna be yeah. happy. Okay. Um, <laughs> we, we usually have a scripture. scripture. And I, I had one before Lisa sent me hers, and then she talked about the mustard seed. 
Um, the one that I came up with, though, I thought was actually quite appropriate. So I will share it with you. And it is Mark 10, 14. Let the children come to me. Don't stop them. For the kingdom of God belongs to those who are like these children. Oh, I love that scripture. Amen. Amen. That is awesome. Wow. So thank you. <clears throat> thank you to our guests. Thank you to everyone who's watching and who will watch later on YouTube. Um, we want to remind you we're here every Friday at 9 a.m., sometimes 9.02, depending on what goes wrong in the morning. If it um, decides to update. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Thank you for all the hearts you're throwing up. Um, we love you. Pray for ChristNet. We have two more days. And until we see you again, remember, God loves you. And so do we. So do we. All right. Thank you, ladies. Have a, have a great Thank day, you. everyone. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.